Hey, what's going on everybody? So, welcome to today's episode that I'm calling an emergency episode. It's not a special episode because it's for historical important events like MLK Day and things like that. But this also isn't a regular I'm going to 3 video and this is something that you should be aware of so that's why I'm referring to it as an emergency episode. We are talking about the conflict between Ukraine and Russia. If you didn't know, um, Russia has invaded Ukraine. And we're just going to get into that a little bit. This is also going on the podcast. If you're listening this on the po- if you're listening to this on the podcast, sorry. Hi. And then this is also on the main channel. So we're just going to talk about this quickly and then move on. Because this is something that you should all be aware of. And yeah. So let's just get right into it. Um, so the, the main source of this problem is NATO. If you didn't know, NATO is the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, and it comprises of about 30 countries, including the US, the UK, France, and Germany, and all those countries. And now, uh, Ukraine, Ukrainian, Ukrainians wanted to be a part of this group, uh, but uh, the NATO is willing to accept Ukrainian, but Russia does not want that to happen. Mainly because then if there are any attacks, Russia won't get the support of Ukraine. And it's a whole thing that if a member country of NATO will be eligible for collective support by all members in case of any external attack. So, um... Alright, so Kiev then was fearing attacks by Russia, um, as the latter has already annexed Crimea, 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 whatever, which is a peninsula in, uh, not a peninsula, yeah, a peninsula, right here, I don't know if my leader point over, right here, um, from Ukraine. So, then with all of this, NATO, uh, considers an attack against just one country, an attack against everybody. And that's the idea of collective defense, which is shown in the Washington Treaty in Article 5. So, this is why Russia doesn't want NATO to be a part of, uh, why Russia doesn't want Ukraine to be a part of NATO. Uh, if Ukraine becomes a part of NATO, Russia oops, believes that it will take back Crimea by military action. So then, Putin, the president of Russia, recently hinted at a situation that if that happens, that it's not going to happen, and they're willing to go to war for it and everything. And Russia is now demanding the West to pull NATO forces out of Eastern Europe and never expand into Ukraine, and never to bring NATO into Ukraine. Uh, So, Russia then shares shared some drafts on legal security guarantees from the U.S. and NATO, and it states that the Russian federalization, federal, federalization, sorry, I'm all over the place today with this, and all the parties that were member states of NATO as of May 27, 1997, shall not deploy military forces and weapons on the territory of any of the other states in Europe. And so then Article 6 states that all members shall refrain from any enlargement of NATO, making it any bigger, which means that Ukraine couldn't be a part of this. And now, so that's kind of the bulk of what's happening, and Putin doesn't want this to happen. With that being said, NATO is defending Ukraine, and is on Ukraine's side sending sanctions. If you don't know what sanctions are, sanctions are stopping economical things from happening in, from one country into another country. So, the US and the UK are saying, like, we won't supply this, these economical institutions because of what's happening and all of that. So, yeah, hold up. 
So yes, that's basically what is happening, and again, I just wanted you all to be aware of the situation with NATO and how Russia doesn't want Ukraine, NATO, and so now Russia is invading Ukraine to hopefully, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but to possibly gain control? This part I'm not 100% sure about, but I think to gain control of Ukraine... So then Ukraine doesn't, you know, be a part of NATO. But that's that. That's the story. That's all I can say. That's it. I'm done. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. If there's anything I said wrong, let me know in the comments down below of the podcast or the main channel, wherever you're listening. And I will correct it in the comments. And so if there's any corrections, look in the comments. <clears throat> Excuse me, look in the comments down below, look in the description, and I'll make any necessary changes that I need. But other than that, I'm out, I'm done, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Peace!